everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a buy it or pass it video for you guys. Um, now, this concept was originally started by Samantha March. I will have her channel listed down below. Uh, she also has a playlist for these type of videos, which I think is amazing. So I will have the community playlist listed down below as well. Um, this is definitely going to be my version of it. I also get most of my information from Trendweed One and Makeup Hunters. I will have them also listed down below for you guys. They are really, really good sources. If I want to know anything that is coming out, I usually stay on those two pages and it has all the information that I need to know. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first thing that we have to talk about is an announcement. It just happened. It is the Jeffree Star and the Morphe brush collection. I personally have been trying to get away from Morphe brushes. When it comes to quality, they're not the best. Um, I typically use like Sigma Beauty as my top go-to brushes, Real Techniques, e.l.f. brushes even, and BH Cosmetics. Um, however, for some reason, my Morphe brushes do not stand the test of time. There's di discoloration. Some of the uh, bristles have changed colors. And I just don't think it's really good quality. Yes, it is cheap. So if you are on a really tight budget, um, then I mean, yeah, but <laughs> I would rather save just a little bit longer um, and get a more of a quality brush. But I mean, e.l.f. and BH Cosmetics are really, really affordable, and I love those brushes. I actually prefer those brushes over Morphe brushes, but um, that is way off topic. So the whole collection is seven custom iron face brushes in a bag for $49. There is a size queen brush, so I guess that's supposed to be a face brush, a point blank precision brush, iconic contour brush, fly high brush, crease queen brush, rule blender brush, double treble brush, and a starstruck bag. And also he's coming out with beauty sponge trio for $16. Um, I don't know if I was expecting brushes when, it cut, when they announced the collab. Um, I know he has a palette that will be coming out very soon, so I'm really actually waiting on that. I don't need any brushes right now. I'm actually pretty good. I just got in a couple orders of brushes, so I am good in the brush department, but these are definitely a pass for me. This next item actually has me pretty intrigued. Uh, this was just dropped, and it is from The Balm. There is two new eyeshadow palettes, which include built-in primers which include neutral and black so there is the what's they are called the what's the tea palettes and as you can see um, the first palette is just like the normal squares the second palette is actually little teacups <laughs> that is so cute now i have never personally purchased anything from the bomb i think i received one item in my ipsy bag before and i actually quite enjoyed it this actually kind of caught my eye so I might have to put this on my list to purchase. Um, you know, I'll test the bomb out. These are really, really cute. When it comes to their packaging, they do a really good job anyway. Uh, I love the packaging that they come out with, but I've never been really just wanting to dive in and buy from them. But this is catching my eye. So I'm gonna put this on a maybe list right now and I'll have to revisit it later. Norvina has actually um, announced a, a very beginning of her spring collection for Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, it is two quad palettes and four, I think they're lip glosses? No, they're liquid lipsticks. Okay, so two palettes and four liquid lipsticks. Um, the palettes are going to run $32 each and then the liquid lipstick is $20 a piece. That seems kind of pricey. So for $10 more, you get 10 more shades. Okay, the Soft Glam, the Modern Renaissance, um, the Norvina palette, they're all 14 shadow palettes for $42. These are only four shades for $32. So either you get a lot of product or we're paying more for packaging. 
Now, I have to admit, when I first saw the palettes, I was actually really excited, really intrigued. Um, I'm not really a quad person. I prefer like more 6, 12, 14 uh, eyeshadow pans, but they were really, really pretty. So I was very intrigued, but for $32. Dang. You know what? I think I know what it is. Um, she said in, on Twitter that they are actually refillable. So once you're finished with the eyeshadow, you can take the pan out and replace it with whatever. So maybe that's why it's so expensive. Um, now, her liquid lipsticks, these are definitely a pass. I do not like the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick formula. It is not for me. Um, I love their lip glosses. Their lip glosses are amazing. So I kind of wish one of these out of, out of each category was at least a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss that I could consider purchasing one. But considering they're all liquid lipsticks, these are going to be a pass for me. Um, I'm going to have to rethink <laughs> wanting these palettes. They're really pretty, but they're really expensive. And I know you can re refill them, but... I don't really go through them that often to do something like that. So I'm going to say no right now. All right. So up next, we have the Huda Beauty Metal and Matte Shadows. Um, now, I have seen reviews of the original ones that she came out with. I think it was like two or three different colors. Um, people said that actually really enjoyed them, but they were very difficult to blend if you were not fast enough. They did dry up. But other than that, they enjoyed them. Um, I really like the colors that she is bringing to the table with these new sets. However, this is not going to be a formula that I want to even purchase or try. It's just not for me. But I really wish that she would put these colors in a pressed powder palette. I would buy that in a hot minute. I am actually really looking forward to the day when I find the perfect pastel beautiful eyeshadow palette. Um, these are colors that I would love to see in it. Every single one of them, even the ones that are neutral, mixed in with those colors, I think that is beautiful. But I really, really want this in a palette. I really don't want these in individual, I really don't want these in this form. So this is gonna be a pass. Now these do run for $25 a piece. If you are interested in them, they will be available on February 12th. So Sephora usually carries these um, amazing boxes called Sephora Favorites. Sometimes there's skincare, sometimes there's like just lips or mascara, um, but they have a new one out and is the Sephora Favorites Crush Worthy Skincare. This is $38 and it actually looks like it has a lot of good items in there. You have a Sephora mask, you have something from Fresh Beauty, Caudel, um, let's see. There is a Lancome Rose Sugar Scrub. Usually these are so good. I do highly recommend looking into these Sephora favorites. I think they are a great bang for your buck. Um, now I am actually really set on skincare. I just recently uh, socked up. I'm trying out Drunk Elephant, a lot of stuff that I've gotten from my Ipsy or my Sephora place. So I am good in that department, so I'm going to have to pass on this. But if this is something that you're interested in, I highly recommend it. I do really enjoy the Sephora Favorites kits. I normally uh, review the Lip Sephora Favorites, but they haven't came out with a new one um, in a while that I can review for you guys. So I'm still on the lookout for that. If they ever do another one, it's I literally feel like it's been forever, but um, this is great. I just have to pass. All right, so ColourPop has released colorful mascaras. There are seven different shades. Um, now, when I saw this, I have to say that I was actually kind of intrigued. I don't wear colorful mascaras like on a day-to-day -day basis, but I could see myself wanting to pick one up for like a Halloween look. Um, but I was intrigued. I, I kind of like that they did this. Um, so it looks like you have a teal, a purple, a red, a yellow, a black, um, a pink, and a blue. I kind of wish they would have replaced the black with a brown, but that's just personal preference. Um, so you can get the set for $50, which actually is supposed to save you $6, um, or the mascaras are $8 a piece. Now, I did watch Kathleen Light's review on this, um, and she was actually kind of impressed. I know she does a lot of 
ColourPop collaborations anyway, so she is a big fan of them. But from her swatches on her channel, I was actually kind of impressed as well. I would have to say that I'm definitely kind of interested in that blue color. That, that looks like it's a really good color and I can work some kind of magic and rock with it. So <laughs> um, I won't be picking it up anytime soon, but maybe in the future if I see it at Ulta, I might grab it. Uh, but yeah, I, I like that they did this just for right now. Um, I'm not going to order it offline. And speaking of Kathleen Lyons, she has done another collaboration with ColourPop, of course. Um, but this time she is doing a loose pigment collection. Now, I am not a loose pigment person. I am an eyeshadow palette person. That is what I prefer. That is what I enjoy. The colors look beautiful. Her swatches look beautiful, but this is just not for me. Um, now, these do run for $6 a piece, or they are $70 for the full set. And they are already available on the website if you guys are interested. So I saw on Trend Moods page that this Korean makeup brand has come out with a Kit Kat collection. First of all, I love Kit Kats, okay? I am a chocolate fan. Like, it is what my weakness. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool, I like it. Um, so it looks like they have two different palettes. They are six shades and $18 a piece. I think it is really cute. I love the packaging. I love the colors, even though they're neutral. One looks like it has a pop of red. One looks like it has a pop of pink. But if I could get my hands on it, I probably would purchase it. If I have to purchase this from overseas, that's probably not going to work for me because of all that shipping and handling and price and all that stuff. So, <clears throat> but that's going to be the only thing holding me back from this. I know, I think I heard Jeffree Star say that he was going to review this and that he ordered it. So I cannot wait to hear his thoughts because I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot, but uh, I kind of wish it was available over here in the U.S. All right, Sephora is actually celebrating the new year as well. Um, they are coming out with their new collection. The collection actually says, Happy Piggy Year. <laughs> Uh, there is a eyeshadow palette with 10 shades, a brush set with two eye brushes, two face brushes, and one brush holder. And that brush holder is so stinking cute. It's got the little pig on it. It's got the like little hoof prints. It's so cute. The brushes are cute. You got the little like pig nostrils. Um, and the palette is even really, really pretty. So I actually even might pick this up just because of the fact I love the packaging. I love the concept. And it's really cute. It's really cute. Um, all it says is coming soon online. We'll keep you updated. So once I get information on this, I will definitely have it down below for you guys. But as of right now, this is my very first yes, I want this. I want everything. I want the brush holder. I want the brushes. And I want the palette. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. It's just, it's so cute. So Too Faced is coming out with a whole collection. They are doing a collab with uh, somebody by the name of The Pretty Mess. I don't know this person. Um, I've never heard of this person, but it's an eyeshadow palette. It looks like you have a lip injection, uh, which I don't like those. Those are so painful. Lip kits, a highlighter, and a powder. I'm not really a fan of the packaging on this. You have the dollar sign on the highlighter. It looks kind of cheap looking. Um, I'm not a lip kit person. I don't really use like lip liners. The lip injections are so painful. I tried one one time from a Sephora Favorites kit and it burnt my lips so bad. I will never put that back on my lips. Uh, the palette itself, I don't like how the eyeshadows are arranged. It's just like an OCD's person's worst nightmare. <laughs> So that's a huge pass. And then you have the powder that says Pat the Puss on the top. Uh, not a fan. <laughs> so if you guys know this influencer and want to support them, that is great for you. This collection is just not for me. Um, it will be available February 12th. I don't see any prices, but um, the whole entire collection is going to be a pass for me. 
All right, and last but not least, Makeup Geek is finally dropping their eyeshadow palettes at Target. I have been waiting for this for so long. Um, Makeup Geek came out with like an eyeshadow palette last year that I wanted really, really bad, but it was so pricey. I ended up passing on it. Um, now they do have really pricey eyeshadows and I know that going into it, but they are coming out with three different quads um, and these are running for $20 a piece. It's a price I'm willing to pay and I really, really want to try out their formula. I've been wanting to try out their formula for quite some time. So as soon as it arrives in my Target, I will be purchasing one. I don't really know which one I'm going to get and it's kind of a toss up. Looking at all three palettes, I actually kind of like all of them. Um, but I'm only going to pick one. So it's probably going to be one of the two neutral colors. Um, not the one with the purple. I like the purple, but I think I could get more use out of one of the other two. So like I said, I'm going to be keeping my eye on this, but one of them is definitely going to end up in my basket. So my targets, which I have three targets that I can go to and I've been to all three and they have not been in my store yet. So they need to hurry up. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is it for the Spy Editor Pass It. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And I'm going to have those listed down below for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.